I'm going to be revealing the top five ways that you can remove pet hair from your car. And to save you the hassle of doing all the research, trying to find the right methods and tools, I've got you completely covered because I'm going to be revealing all the different pros and cons of every single tool featured in this video. Plus, I'm going to be revealing why I personally believe that there is not one perfect tool for removing pet hair. Find out why. This is my dog, Sonny, and he's my best friend. But one thing he likes to do is get messy. And I'm sure that many of you dog owners out there struggle to remove all the pet hair in your car. And that's mainly down to the modern day cars which now have cheap low quality carpet that just grips the hairs. And unfortunately, hoovering on its own simply won't cut it. But it doesn't mean that you need to spend a fortune on expensive equipment. So let's kick it off with the first pet hair tool on the list. In at number one, it's the pet hair block. Now you can pick these up for around four pounds on average. Not only are they great at removing pet hairs, but they're also pretty good at carpet stripes too. And because they have plenty of micro teeth on them, they're pretty damn good at pulling out some of the shorter hairs. But one problem that I have found with these over time is they start to disintegrate pretty quickly because the rubber dries out. And then you start to find the more you're brushing into the fabric, you're going to find these tiny particles of rubber which fall in there. Now it's not a terrible thing, it's not a deal breaker, but it's just something you should be aware of. If you're gonna continuously use these, you may need to stock up on more than one. While this block is excellent for carpet stripes, its main purpose is to remove pet hair. And while it works pretty well, I wouldn't say that it's the best. In fact, the next tool on the list could be even better. Next on the list is the pumice stone. This happens to be one of the best tools that you can use for removing short pet hairs from any type of fabric. And although I genuinely love this tool, I have to say that in the wrong hands, you will cause damage to any of the plastic trim if you scratch the surface of it. And I now wanna give you a quick demonstration to show you exactly what I mean by that. And whatever you do, do not try this on your own car because it will scratch it and you won't be able to fix it. So what I'm going to do is just, just say I'm removing some pet hairs and whoops, I catch it on the trim. This is bad, you can hear it now. So now I'm going to wipe it just to show you what that's done. And don't forget you can also scuff leather seats too. So if you're not 100% confident in your steady hand, then I recommend you stick around till the end because there are plenty more alternatives still to come. The next one on the list is rubber gloves. Yep, every single household probably has at least one pair in their home and they're pretty good at removing pet hairs. But when I say they're good at removing pet hairs, that's about as far as it goes. They're not great. And whether these gloves work or not is purely down to the type of fabric you have within your car. For example, here in this footage, I'm working on a Mercedes Benz, which has a beautifully manufactured carpet. And to remove the hairs, it's so simple and there's no real effort that's needed. However, on your typical VW, Ford or Peugeot carpets, you won't get anywhere near the same results with the rubber gloves. So if the gloves don't work for you, then you really need to take a look at this Maxshine pet hair brush. But with an average price of nine pounds, it's not the cheapest out there, but it's still a good five pound cheaper than the Lily brush, and it does exactly the same thing. I would say I prefer this over the pet hair block, and that's mainly because the pet hair block deteriorates too quickly. Whereas with this one, I don't have any teeth on it, which means you don't get any small bits of rubber that fall into the carpet. Before we get to the last method, I have put links along with a discount code where you can save extra money if you do decide to buy any of the tools featured in this video. Another effective yet deadly pet hair removal tool is one of these, a drill and a drill brush. Now I love these, especially if the car is completely clogged up in the boot with dog hair. And that's because they're so quick at removing it. However, you have to be very careful using one of these. Use it too heavily in one place, you are gonna cause snagging on the fabric. So you have to know your material here. You don't wanna start using this on very delicate cars that you really wanna keep on top of. These should be just for the really old bangers where it doesn't really matter as much. I would say one of the biggest problems about using these though is the amount of mess that you're going to make. Yep, it's great at removing pet hair, but no, it doesn't solve all those problems because you're gonna get dust flicking up everywhere. Unless you've got somebody literally holding a hoover right next to it to catch some of those hairs in the dust, it can cause a humongous mess. And I'm not just kidding here. I've done it myself in a video and it just blew it everywhere. So let me give you a quick recap on the tools and which ones I think you should and shouldn't go for. The pet hair block, it's cheap, it's cheerful, but it will break down over time and these rubber teeth can get everywhere in the fabric. So it's not my favorite, 
but it's still a good one nevertheless. Rubber gloves, one of the cheapest methods of removing pet hair. However, it's not completely effective on carpets like your VW, your Ford and your Peugeot. You're better suited to things like Mercedes and BMWs. The pumice stone, if used correctly in the right hands of the right person on the right fabric, you are going to have no problems whatsoever. However, I have to emphasize in the right hands. In the wrong hands, I don't recommend you use this because you will cause damage. The Max Shine brush, it's not the cheapest, but it is pretty effective. And it's got a longer durability compared to the pet hair block where the teeth start deteriorating. And then we have the drill brush. Something like this, I'd probably recommend more on using on your car mats instead of any delicate fabrics. Okay, so if I was to pick just one of these, maybe two of these, I'd go for the pumice stone and I'll go for the Max Shine pet hair tool. And the only reason I'll do this is because I want the best of both worlds here. I know what I can and can't do with the pumice stone. I know the key areas where I need to be extra careful. And then with the Max Shine brush, it's just a good all rounder. And I've got nothing to worry about in terms of any of the brush deteriorating like you might find on the pet hair blocks. And I don't have to worry about the mess like you might find with using a drill brush. And to be honest with you, most of you who are gonna be using these are probably already going to have rubber gloves as well. Just be very careful because the more you brush with your gloves, the more easy it is to get a hole in. So it's just another thing to consider. But for me, these two are the best.